You're watching WMAR 2 News. And thank you for watching. I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News headlines. A class action lawsuit over unemployment insurance benefits has been dismissed. In the dismissal, the judge overseeing the case said the lawsuit was trying to use the courts to circumvent the claims and appeals process. The suit claimed that the State Department of Labor owed money to thousands of Marylanders. It said those Marylanders were falsely flagged for fraud or delayed for other issues. Lawyers with the Unemployed Workers Union claim that the department did it to avoid payouts. Lawyers for the Unemployed Workers Union disagreed with the decision, adding they will continue their fight. As of October the 16th, nearly 16,000 claims were still pending review. Well, improving the public transportation experience, the Department of Transportation Maryland Transit Administration has launched its Fast Forward Customer Experience Enhancement Project. The goal is to improve transit reliability, travel times, and customer safety and access. Planned improvements include more vast bus lanes, new and enhanced transit hubs, more bus shelters, and ADA and pedestrian safety improvements right near bus stops. The $43 million initiative is funded by money from the American Rescue Plan Act. And a county humane society is now begging people to adopt. And if they don't, the shelter won't have space for any new pets. The Humane Society of Hartford County is at full capacity. To get pets into new homes faster, they are now reducing adoption fees. For 25 bucks, you can take home a dog, a cat, or any of the animals the shelter is taking care of. The shelter is open by appointment only. All animals are spayed or neutered and come with necessary vaccinations and treatments, a microchip and a free sample of dog food, and a general exam. More frost potential as we head into your Thursday, starting off the morning with numbers in the low to mid 30s. We'll eventually get into the upper 30s as you make your way into work, and then it's going to be a struggle to get into the lower 50s. But I think we get there with daytime highs here in the city reaching 54 degrees, but most other locations are going to be a couple degrees cooler than that. Westminster, I think you're only going to top out near 49. So everybody needing at least that jacket for tomorrow and temperatures. Well, they're going to hang out in the mid 50s for the next few days, finally starting to get some relief as we head into the weekend, but temperatures don't climb back to above average until next Monday. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the run, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.